everyone. Yeah, I'm just here heading to Louis Vuitton, doing a little shopping today in my nice little buildings. And I just thought I would take a moment to stop my shopping spree and show you all how to add models into Roblox Studio and talk about why you would want to add models and what to avoid when you add models into a game. So if this is so helpful to you, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe because I'll be adding more, and turn notifications to all. And you can watch all of these short little step-by-step -step easy videos on how to improve your Roblox gaming and making some amazing GFXs all about you. So come on guys, let's go through it right now. So we want to hop out of the game and head on to where we can edit. Just hit stop. And as you can see, you do not see my character because it's still in that starter player. If you're having any questions about how to deal with the starter player, how to add avatars, adjust accessories, change faces, all those things, you need to check out my other videos where I talk specifically about that. It's important, of course, to know because if you're watching these videos to improve or learn how to make GFX or uh, Blender items, you're going to need to know how to do those avatars. Now, what I want to show you today is how to add these models to your game and the things to look out for. So first of all, we have models here. You type in whatever you're looking for. Um, let's add, we've got bank pulled up. I was thinking about adding a bank because I mean, I'm gonna need money for my shopping spree. So I've just clicked on this first Roblox bank. What you can see is there is no vote on it, but other things do have votes. So jailbreak bank, uh, not the style I'm looking for, but it does have 275 votes. That's a good sign that it's probably decent. You just scroll down. You want to add bank security. You want to add a guard. You can add whatever you want, huh? like the bank employee getting robbed there. That's pretty good. And then you just go over here. You can see it's high up in the sky. We clearly don't want that. So you take the select button and you place it down here and it should move no problem. Okay. Well, here's the thing, folks. I don't want it facing the wrong way, obviously. So I'm gonna click over here, rotate, and I'm gonna move it just like this. Now, most of you are maybe not interested in these kinds of models. I will say for GFX, you're going to wanna be careful with any kind of closed in model when you're going to make your GFXs because that's gonna affect the lighting, so just remember that. Once you have it where you want it, it's just as simple as that. But I did mention to you guys that you have to watch out for something. So that is what we need to talk about now. You could go into a game, you could, or Roblox Studio, you could set down all of these models and you could find some crazy things happen. First of all, let me add a funny little model here. If we type in Opera House, uh, great idea, right? Click on that. It's got 34 votes. Must seem amazing. It's huge. Okay. And it's totally lagging me up. I can't even move guys because this thing is too big. It's got too many parts, etc., etc. So that is something you'll want to learn. For those of you that are learning how to build actual games, you don't want all these parts. You're going to want meshes. Okay. And that is something that we will get into at some point for sure. So this is too big, would not be something I want. So then of course you can just click undo. Obviously when you add these kinds of things, you also need to watch out for viruses. Okay. People enjoy going to very popular models, taking them and manipulating them and putting in viruses. Okay. So what'll happen is when you go to hit play to the game, you're suddenly having all kinds of problems. You're finding that the car that worked before is no longer working. And so this is the concern with free models. Yes, these are all free models that you can add and you can create a game to your liking. So as you can see, my street has ended here at the bank. So, you know, you just type in street and you can choose. I like the ones with the sidewalks because of course I want to be walking again it's going to be up in the sky. You just select it and move it together. And that's that. I mean, I'm not creating a fancy Roblox game, guys. I'm actually just trying to create a world for how you guys can see 
you quickly place these down and you can then take these models put them into blender and make what's called gfx's and that's what we are getting to in this little series uh, eventually you guys are going to know from beginning to end exactly how to make a gfx with your avatar so let's head on in and have a little fun and see if this game is working so let's head on into this as an actual game. I'm clicking on it. I'm going in. You will see me in the game. I am, what? It's a dog face. This is what I'm talking about, guys. You'll want to be careful when you make these games because when you actually publish it, it is a virus, right? So that's why you gotta be careful about the models that you choose. So of course we're gonna have to go back and we're gonna have to remove all of these to figure it out. So, you know, if you're a pro at this, great news. But if you're not, then you don't really know what you're getting into with the models. So it's always wise to check it out, publish game, privately before you invite all your friends and you're suddenly in crazy town or in this case looking at a dog so anyway that's just the fun tip of the day okay so i removed the bank i have a feeling that is the problem we'll see and then i need to also remove my starter player move it out here um, because unless you want everybody to look just like you when they come into the game, you don't really need a starter player, okay? So now we're going to head out. I'm going to start this game again, and let me publish this. You've also got to publish it so that everything will happen correctly. And then let's go to the game and see if we can actually get some friends in here, and I'll show you what this looks like with these models in the game. Okay, so here we are in the game and you guys can try out the models then in person. Uh, we've got some of my friends that came to join in and <laughs> they're trying the pink Cadillac. I love it. <laughs> so we can come over here and we can check out this model and you guys can see that you can play here with your, with your friends. You can do all kinds of role play in your own little private game, just how you would like to do it. And you can have people peeking outside um you can <laughs> go up here the spiral staircase or maybe you can't oh my gosh this is a problem with the free models it's very limiting come play on your piano and your wonderful studio apartments i mean i'm living at large right and look i just have the regular face now, if you're wanting, remember, to use that special super, super happy face, then watch my video that explains to you exactly how you change your face in Roblox for no cost at all. So anyway, guys, this is what it's like to have your own little game, be inside, have some fun with your friends, try on things. You could just do all kinds of stuff with these free models, right? These models are probably not the models that you're going to be using for your GFX, but you could. You could hold your Louis Vuitton in some lovely GFX for sure, but this is how it works and you... <laughs> Who knows what in the world is going on here? I seem to be having a first aid kit that's a Louis Vuitton. I mean, <laughs> nothing like that. But thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this and learned all about how to add models in the game. I will be posting more videos on the models that you want for GFX and how to make a GFX using Blender and otherwise. So I hope you are enjoying this little series and I really appreciate you all being here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous day. Bye-bye, everybody.